We are a core facility at the Russell Park Cancer Institute and in that capacity we serve a, a wide user base with different research interests. So we see lots of different applications of flow cytometry and imaging flow cytometry. Our goal is to really provide our user base with the best instrumentation, quality control of the instrumentation and best practices in using the instrumentation. One of the things that we adopted immediately to the image stream was doing the NF-kappa B translocation assay. Now before this, we were doing all that by confocal microscopy. And the issue there is that we had a technician who would spend a day counting 100 cells for each sample. So it was very laborious, very labor intensive. With the image stream, that became a completely automated analysis where we were able to acquire a lot of cells and really get some very statistically significant information from it. Our own research interest is, has really been focused on study of the NF-kappa B and the NFAT signaling pathway. For the NFAT signaling pathway, there is no NFAT specific antibody available uh, that looks at the phosphorylation. So we were not able to study that with standard flow cytometry, but with the image stream technology, we are now able to look at the nuclear translocation of, of NFAT as a marker for activation. So that has really helped us tremendously. With the image stream, you obviously get an image. And that's been a huge advantage because it allows us to actually see the cell. Now by conventional flow, what you're getting is a intensity for each marker. By the image stream, you actually get a vision of what's going on inside or on top of that cell. As a consequence, we can use it to look at translocation of proteins, we can use it to look at co-localization of proteins. That's really affected the way we do a lot of our analyses. What we've been limited to in the past in terms of imaging was microscopy-based technologies where you have the ability to maybe look at 100 cells or 500 cells, but if you are thinking in terms of rare events, you are thinking about one in 10,000 cells or one in 100,000 cells. With the image stream, we are fortunate that we can run 10,000 or 100,000 cells through, so the ability to detect the presence of these rare events is significantly improved with the image stream. One of the really interesting discoveries that we made using the image stream involves circulating tumor cells. Circulating tumor cells are of a lot of interest to many of the investigators here at Roswell Park. We developed this uh, fluorescent in situ hybridization technique with the image stream and we've been able to detect the presence of abnormal cells in patient samples, patients who were considered in clinical remission, so no pathological evidence for the presence of uh, abnormal cells, but yet with the image stream we were still able to detect in very low numbers the presence of abnormal cells. What's been very successful for us here at Roswell is having a person or a group of people that are really dedicated to championing that technology. And as a consequence of that, we have a lot of investigators here who are actively interested in, in using the technology and a lot of different protocols that we can offer to them.